Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to go over with you LinkedIn profile checklist for high school students. If you're watching this one, you are maybe struggling to create your LinkedIn profile as a high school student and I will do my best to help you. I worked on LinkedIn for many years and I went to a lot of colleges to help students to optimize their LinkedIn profile. From my knowledge, I'm hoping that I can also help you as well. So let's get started. First one that you should definitely focus on your LinkedIn photo, especially like having a photo that doesn't show that you're in a bar or in a club or you're just cutting off people right there and like you can't see other people's like arm in here. Not like that. So I highly recommend you to have a photo that you're very visible and you have a clear background at the back. Show your personality and don't forget to smile. The headline is the most important piece as well. So try to show your personality. And right now what I'm gonna do is like, I'm gonna create a, like a sample LinkedIn profile for high school students and I'll show you like a sample in here. From this one, I'm hoping that I can inspire you to create your own LinkedIn headline. So in this one, we're gonna take Amy Gomez and basically she is an aspiring engineer. For the headline, we don't need to write a student. We can just mention that gadget lover and aspiring engineer. Of course, the next important thing is like putting Amy's location. In this section, we're going to write San Francisco Bay Area. The other one is like she's studying computer software. So we're just going to write out the industry that she's in. So we're just going to write out the computer software. The other important thing that Amy needs to focus on is the summary section. Most people, when they come to your LinkedIn profile, of course, they're going to look at your headline, they're going to look at your photo, but the other important thing is your summary. So in here, as a high school student, this is what we can say for Amy. So what, this is what she can write because like in Amy's like section, we can show her personality as well. I live for tech. I'm always the first one in my school to know about the latest gadgets or newest websites. And while it may be a little geeky, that's my passion. My dream is to go from someone who needs about the newest technology to the person who makes it. So I'm working hard to learn Java and rugby. And then someday I plan to start my own tech company. So what we are doing in here is basically we're highlighting Amy's passion and the things that she would like to focus on in the future. And we are keeping summary as simple and as short as possible. The other thing that we should focus on is the experience section. Right now, Amy doesn't have a corporate job and Amy is a high school student. So what we can just put it in here is like, since she's working in Best Buy, we can actually highlight um, the start of the day. So what we can mention in here is basically this. So we are definitely putting the start date, which is June, 2013. And in the description section, what we can say is like, work 20 hours a week in service department of Best Buy, fixing everything from laptops to iPhones, received five-star rating from 97% of the customers. So we are definitely including some numbers in here. So we included 97% of the customer section, the five-star rating, and this is definitely resonating with the summary section because she mentioned that she's really into the technology and she's working as a repair technician in Best Buy. So she doesn't have that many experiences. So what we're gonna do is like, we're just going to write only one experience in the LinkedIn section and we will move on to the honors and awards. So she has a scholarship from California Scholarship Federation. And basically what we're going to say, how she received a scholarship and we're going to put the date and the month information in here. So if you earned a prize or inside school or outside of school, please don't be shy to highlight in your high school LinkedIn profile in here. The other important points are since she's studying at school, she does lots of projects and she takes a lot of courses. So what we're gonna do is like in the project section, she recently attended a robotics competition. So we're just gonna put it in here and we will be putting the date right underneath. And we're going to list out the team members as well, because when she's attending this competition, she didn't attend by herself. So we will definitely list out the rest of the team members under her profile. The other section are the courses. 
So listing out the courses that she took and the showing her skills are extremely important. So definitely if you have taken like a, your passionate courses, the things that you really like studying, you should definitely list out on your LinkedIn profile as a high school student as well. The last two things, I think those are the really important things in addition to the things that I just mentioned to you. Putting out your volunteer experiences are extremely important. Maybe you are volunteering in Red Cross or you're volunteering in a local church. So definitely try to mention your volunteering activities. So this way you can highlight all the things that you're actually doing. So in here, what I'm going to do is she's a volunteer in the Habitat for Humanity. So I will be listing out like how she's helping to build new homes for refugee families in Somalia. So this way it shows like her volunteer experiences in addition to her schoolwork. Lastly, if you can have any recommendations from your professors, from your teammates, from the competitions that you're attending with, those like classmates that you have, definitely try to include some recommendations on your LinkedIn profile. It's not a must, but it's always good to have. That's all for today. If you have more questions, don't be shy to leave your comments down below. I will do my best to answer all your questions. And if you want to know more about optimizing your LinkedIn profile, don't forget to check out my other videos. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye for now.